Here at Torbay Hospital, we have a new approach to caring for patients who are admitted to us as a medical emergency. It's called Enhanced Recovery in Medicine. Our aim is to improve our patients' experience of being in hospital and the time it takes for them to recover. This short film shows how we can all be a part of making this happen. No decision about me without me. What is enhanced recovery in medicine? Well, enhanced recovery in medicine means involving patients and their families and their carers in decisions that can be made about them during the hospital stay. And it's really important that it lets people get involved in choosing what is the right thing for them to help get them better more quickly and safely, using a whole range of healthcare professionals to help them make those decisions. Good morning, Mrs. Edwards. Morning. How are you feeling this morning? Better, thank you. My name's Libby, and I'm coming to take the drip down this morning, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's what we call a drip free morning, and we're going to encourage you to drink plenty of water, and we'll take you over to our, our drink station and let you choose a drink there, and that'll increase your mobility. Is that okay? Yeah. There are simple things you can do while you're in hospital to help you leave safely and at the right time. You can drink plenty of water and energy drinks. This will keep you hydrated and means you may not need an IV drip. You can then get up and get dressed and move around. You can use the drink station at any time. The difference the Enhanced Recovery has made to my team is that it's actually changed the focus of the nursing staff. It promotes much more independence for the patients and actually it, it enables them to participate more in their own care. A good example of patient and carer participation was just last week. We had um, an elderly lady admitted from a care home with confusion. She had a daughter who we invited to the ward round to firstly allow the doctors to gain more information about the patient, but more importantly, to allow the family to become more engaged with the care and decision making that the patient was going to receive. Well, if I stand up next to you and hover, mm -hmm. stand up and just be careful, don't raise yourself straight away. All right, yep. got your balance? Yep. Okay, let's have a little walk and see how you feel. It's important when people come into hospital to maintain their independence. We like to get people up and walking within 24 hours, which helps them to do everyday activities of living and stops them from getting muscle weakness. When it comes to going home, we want to ensure you know what day you're leaving and how you're getting there. We will help you organise this with your family or carer. My role as discharge coordinator is to gather as much information as what I can at the beginning of the patient's stay from the patient and possibly their carers to ensure that on the discharge day everything runs smoothly. I feed this back into the wider multidisciplinary team. Things that can go wrong on day of discharge is um, transport, the patient worries about how they're going to get home or if they've got keys to get into their property. I can make sure that this is all sorted before the discharge day so that on the day everything runs smoothly. And this one, this is the important one, this is your amoxicillin, it's an antibiotic. You need to take this one three times a day for a week and it's best if you can try and get the dose um, one every eight hours. If you do have any questions that you think... If you've been given medicine to take home with you, we will make sure you talk to one of our pharmacy team before you leave. The reason why I come and talk to patients is because it's really important to explain to them what their medicines are for, um, for example, how long a course is, um, and the importance of taking the medicine. This helps to prevent the patient from being readmitted to hospital and from having any problems. Enhanced recovery in medicine offers big benefits for unpaid carers. It certainly involves carers more. It is important that carers are involved in decision making about the patient's care. Gaps that were there can now be identified. We can also offer support on a continuing basis for carers after the patient is discharged home. There will be more information about this at the end of the film. So one of the advantages of, of enhanced recovery in medicine, well, we see it as a partnership between healthcare professionals and the patients and, of course, their carers. And it allows them to be involved in decisions about their own care and gain early independence. And we do believe this is going to improve their experience and hopefully reduce the amount of time they need to stay with us. No decision about me without me.